Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about another disturbing story that's once again coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet Ass Florida. Okay, this entire situation is ratchet and crazy as hell, okay? So what's going down is that we have a woman and she had met a 34 year old man, his name is Brandon Forbes and his girlfriend, she's 23 years old and her name is Riza uh, Rosado. So basically they had met her like somewhere in Miami, somewhere near South Beach and they basically asked her to come home with them and this woman willingly went home with some strangers. So they end up keeping her there. Um, so at some point, the woman, you know, she wants to get ready to leave. And they tell her that they usually bring people to their home and then they end up robbing them. So now the woman is really wanting to leave and they tell her that she cannot leave. They end up kidnapping her, keeping her tied up and locked up in the house for five days straight where the boyfriend and the girlfriend basically took turns having sex with her, raping her and everything else. The whole situation is crazy. The girlfriend then gets upset because the boyfriend is just deadly sleeping with this girl. So then she in turn decides to let the girl go free and also supposedly call the police on her boyfriend, which also implemented her. This whole situation is just ratchet as hell. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. A woman to their home where they tied her up and beat her and forced her to perform unspeakable acts. NBC6 anchor Keith Jones is live in Fort Lauderdale with, with how cops caught up to this bad guy and bad gal, Keith. Well, it's a crazy case here. We're talking about rape, battery, kidnapping. A woman held against her will for five days. She finally gets away, but it wasn't by her own doing. It was actually perhaps someone's conscience taking over. Of domestic violence between the parents as well as the alleged kidnapping and sexual battery. Violent charges, the focus in family courts. Trying to hide his face, 34-year-old Brandon Forbes and 23-year-old Reza Rosado have two kids between them. The children now in state's custody because of what their parents are accused of, which played out in criminal court 20 minutes later. Beat the victim again, assisted her co-defendant in tying her up. Rosado stands before a judge to listen to the kidnapping charges against her. She's the alleged accomplice to Forbes, already charged with rape, assault, and kidnapping. The couple apparently met their female victim on Miami Beach mid-January and began chatting her up, convinced her to go to their North Lauderdale home. They spent the night there. The following morning, it seems, in conversation, uh, either one of the, of the members of the couple mentioned to her that they often go out and meet people and then commit robberies. According to the arrest warrant, the victim was now in fear, tried to leave, but Rosado and Forbes didn't let her. They proceeded to, to keep her against her will inside this apartment for several days, during which time he sexually abused her. Her legs and hands bound, according to the report, kept against her will for five days, all the while being sexually assaulted. There was an argument between the couple about the sexual abuse of the victim, uh, which then led them to beat her. Perhaps guilt or decency sets in. At some point, Rosado does the right thing. She called the police, Judge, uh, to report that Mr. Forbes was, in fact, sexually assaulting this woman. Ratting out her man, Rosado ultimately ratted out herself. All right, so Rosado, according to the police report, actually took the victim to the train station so that she could get away. And something a little bizarre here with the bonds that were given. $35,000 for a bond for Forbes, which means he could post bond and get out. For Rosado, on that first felony count of kidnapping, there's no bond. The second count, $15,000. Live at the county courthouse. Keep All right, so you guys just watch that news clip. You know, I'm not trying to victim blame here before y'all come at me like, you're shaming victims. What I'm saying is that at some point in time, when are we going to take personal responsibility for our actions? I'm sorry, neither one of these people look like they're playing with a full deck. They both look like they're a few eggs short of a dozen, okay? This girl is claiming to be 23. She claims to be 23 years old, yet she looks like she's about 33. They look like all they do is just sit around and do drugs all day. I'm sorry, but I personally would not have walked with either one of these two to the corner store to go get a quart of water, let alone go back to their house to go sleep with them. You know, you got a lot of people out here who are just thirsty. I don't know if they're looking for attention, if they're just looking for sex, but the whole situation makes no sense. Sense that you would put yourself in harm's way to walk off and go to a stranger's home when you don't know what that person has in their home. She's very lucky that she was not killed. You know, this is 2016. There's so much information out here of people putting themselves in crazy situations and either ending up seriously hurt or even killed. I don't understand why people are chancing things and potentially putting their life on the line. It just makes no sense whatsoever. Now back to this DV 
lesbian ass couple, they both need to do time. I don't understand why this man's bail is so low. And then from what I'm hearing today is he's out on bail currently. You know, they both need to be thrown under the jail. This is sick. And it also leads me to feel like, are there other victims? You know, these people seem way too comfortable with this woman. They must have thought that once they let her go, everything would be all good and she wouldn't call the police. It makes me feel like they must have gotten comfortable because they've done this time and time again. And I bet you there's multiple victims. And another thing that bothers me is that both of these people have two children together. So where were the children this entire time where they were busy kidnapping and raping this woman? You know, this is some crazy ass shit. I can just imagine what these children are being exposed to. They definitely need to stay in foster care and be put in a different home. They do not need to go back to either one of these psycho ass parents. You know, this whole situation is crazy, but we have to be smarter as people. Not just women, but men too. You know, we have to be smarter. This is no different than that man who went to go meet with some girl that he met off of the internet. You know what I'm saying? I think he was talking to her on kick. He done lied and said he was balling and everything else. And then he goes to go meet with an 18 year old girl at like two o'clock in the morning in the damn projects. And then his ass ends up shot in the stomach. You know, it's like, where's the common sense? You don't go to just go meet up with a stranger that you don't know. You know what I'm saying? You don't go back to a stranger house that you don't know and then expect nothing to happen to you you know this is just insane to me so anyways let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet ass situation honey that's once again coming from our first favorite state ratchet ass florida so go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.